In the previous video, you learned how to perform basic descriptive statistics using RStudio. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how to extract more information from your data using the Diffplier package. We will still use the same dataset from the previous video. If you haven't downloaded it yet, the link is in the description below. To use packages in RStudio, make sure that you have downloaded it. In this demonstration, we will be using the Diplier package. To download and install Diplier, type install that packages open parentheses quotation mark Diplier. Diplier is spelled as D P L Y R. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Wait for it to finish downloading and installing the package. Next, we load the package by typing library, open parentheses, deplier. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Now, we can use deplier to perform descriptive analysis in our studio. Before we start, let's upload the dataset into our studio by typing data2, read.csv, file.choose, open close parentheses, comma, header, is equal to true. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Choose the file, and we're done. Let's start by computing the sample mean score and standard deviation of the respondents in students' activities when grouped according to sex. To do that, we type data2, percent sign, greater than sign, then percent sign, enter, group underscore by, open parentheses, sex, make sure that S is capitalized, percent sign, greater than sign, and percent sign, enter, deplier, double colon, summarize, open parentheses, mean equals mean open parentheses activities, forward comma, SD, equal sign SD, open parentheses, activities. The first line of our code indicates the object which the dataset is stored, whereas the second line indicates the grouping variable, which is sex. It is written that way because that's the column name of our grouping variable in data2, wherein S is capitalized. Finally, the last line tells us to use the summarize function in the player package to get the sample mean and standard deviation of activities. Activities is the column title for the variable students' activities in data2. Notice that A is capitalized. The mean and SD are titles that will be displayed in the console later. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, you will see the result. So, the mean score of female is 2.32 with a standard deviation of 0 0.351 and the mean score of male is 2.27 with a standard deviation of 0 0.274. I encourage you to pause the video and compute the sample mean score and standard deviation of the respondents in students' activities 
when grouped according to course. So, we type data 2, percent, greater than, and percent sign, enter, group, underscore, by, open parentheses, course, make sure that C is capitalized, percent, greater than, percent sign, enter, deplier, double colon, Summarize, open parentheses, mean equals mean open activities, forward comma SD equals SD, open parentheses, activities. Highlight the code and press control enter. Basically, we just replace the sex in the group by argument in the second line. Again, I encourage you to pause the video and compute the sample mean score and standard deviation of the respondents in attitudes toward mathematics when grouped according to sex. We type data 2 percent greater than percent sign enter group underscore by open parentheses sex forward percent sign greater than sign percent sign enter deplier double colon summarize open parentheses mean equals mean open parentheses attitudes forward comma sd equals sign sd attitudes highlight the code and press control enter Now let's compute the median score and interquartile range of the respondents in students' activities when grouped according to sex. We type data 2, percent, greater than percent, enter group, underscore by, open parentheses, sex, forward percent, greater than percent, enter Deplier, double colon, summarize, open parentheses, median, equal sign median, activities, forward, comma, IQR, equal sign capital IQR, open parentheses, activities. Highlight the code. And press Control Enter. So, the median score of female is 2.38 with an interquartile range of 0 0.630, whereas the median score of the male is 2.25 with a median score of 0 0.37. You can also use two grouping variables. To describe your data set. For example, we want to describe students' activities when grouped according to sex and course using sample mean and standard deviation. We type data 2, percent, greater than, percent, enter, group underscore by, open parentheses, sex, comma, course, forward percent greater than percent enter deplier double colon summarize open parentheses mean equals mean open activities forward comma sd equals sd 
open parentheses activities. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Therefore, female respondents whose scores is AB garnered a mean score of 2.31 with a standard deviation of 0 0.33 in students' activities. Female respondents whose scores is business garnered a mean score of 2.30 with a standard deviation of 0 0.43 and so on. I encourage you to pause the video and try to compute the sample mean and standard deviation of the respondents in attitudes toward mathematics when grouped according to sex and course. We type data2, percent greater than percent, enter group underscore by, open parentheses, sex comma course, forward percent greater than percent, Enter the player. Double colon. Summarize. Open parentheses. Mean equals mean open attitudes. Forward comma SD equals SD attitudes. Highlight the code and press control enter. And there you have it. That's how you perform descriptive statistics in RStudio using the Deplier package. Thank you very much and I hope you learned something in this video. Have a great day!